Hello food fans, going to have a couple of low cost meals here today. These are smaller than the Hungry Man meals. But we're going to start with the uh, Michelinas and uh, this is uh, an 8 ounce serving so it's about half the size of a Hungry Man meal and it has a very delicious recipe and this is uh, Fettuccino Alfredo with chicken and broccoli so that sounds pretty good and it is pretty good. I've eaten it before and the mega bowl and in this case the mega bowl is the chicken fajita bowl so we're going to get a couple different types of chicken meals and the two meals together with some additions that I will uh, add uh, as we are eating uh, it comes to about six and a half dollars which I guess is a bargain these days and other than that, uh, I'll just tell you that I enjoy having you here for lunch today. I'm glad you came by. So, let's get started! And it is a pretty big meal uh, as we are serving it here. 14 ounces uh, is the net weight of the Mega Bowl meal. and. The other meal, eight ounces. This is the uh, Michelinas, I guess is how it's pr pronounced. And I've made one of my salads here, and that is cabbage, tomatoes, carrots, mayonnaise, relish, and ketchup. And that is a good salad, good tasting. And these meals are also very good tasting. They're hot when they come out of the microwave, so be careful. And uh, this uh, meal in the middle here, the Mega Bowl, has lots of rice in it and uh, chunks of chicken and vegetables, so it uh, probably has some nutritional value. And we shall dig in. I'm going to start with the salad as I always do. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'll talk a little bit about uh, some of the shows I worked when I was a uh, movie extra. Mmm. Cabbage makes a good salad. The temperature outside is nice, but it's uh, raining a little bit, not a whole lot, just a drizzle. Mmm, there we go. I'll stir this up. This is the Mega Bowl, and the uh, food that's in the Mega Bowl, chicken fajita is, is, is the uh, name of uh, this particular mix of chicken and vegetables, and then the Michelinas is uh, fettuccine alfredo with chicken and broccoli. And this being the month of March of 2024, we're getting uh, closer and closer to St. Patrick's Day, so there'll be a lot of uh, good opportunities this month to taste some uh, cabbage in various um, recipes. That's a very big chunk of chicken there. It is hot. Another big chunk of chicken. We'll try this over here. The uh, Hungry Man meals are 16 ounces as a rule. And this particular meal from Michelinas is uh, eight ounces. The good thing about the Michelin's meal is the price. There's a dollar sixteen at uh, Walmart. 
So a couple of meals like that and you'd uh, have a real bargain. But uh, this mixture means you're going to get some good flavors and good uh, recipe tastes. Very good. And the sauce is just about right. It's not too thick, not too thin. The Mega Bowl is about $3 per serving, and this is a 14 ounce serving. Some more noodles there. That noodle doesn't want to uh, stay behind there. I did work as a movie extra in Hollywood from 1980 until 19, or uh, until 2006, and I worked a little bit before that, uh, 1979, 1980. I worked in uh, Las Vegas as a movie extra, worked several movies and several TV series. This mega bowl recipe is quite delicious. 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 Some more salad. The most famous person I worked with who would be known today Would be Madonna. I worked in a 1984 movie with her. She was very pleasant, very easy to talk to. The movie was going to be called Slammer, but they changed the title. I think they called it Who's That Girl? I worked with Arnold Schwarzenegger one time. He also would be a familiar name today. And he was a familiar name 40 years ago. I have a bit of a diary here. I kept notes from every show I worked and I just opened this at random. Um, I worked on more than 800 productions. My uh, 192nd production was Fall Guy. I was a crew member. Um, Trapper John M.D. was my 193rd show, it was in uh, Someone Before Camera. 194 was Dr. Detroit. 195 was Fall Guy, that was a popular series for a while. Uh, 196 was uh, Two Marriages. I think that was a TV movie. The 197 was Voyagers. Always enjoyed working on Voyagers. That was a popular TV series back in the 1980s. And the star of the show had two stars, John Eric Hexum and uh, Mino Palouse. And they always had adventures. They'd go back in time to 1800s or just whenever. And the show was always quite uh, fun to work. Unfortunately, John Eric Hexum died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. 
and it was accidental. John Eric Hexham was a very nice person and he just happened to be on the set they had a loaded pistol it was loaded with a blank blank cartridge and John Eric Hexham figured it was safe since it was just loaded with blanks and he was toying around with it and uh, went off and caused him eventually to die but um, if you read his story at wiki I'm pretty sure they'll mention how many people benefited by the organ harvest uh, that uh, John Eric Hexham had made arrangements in his will that if anything happened to him and if someone needed the various parts that he could contribute after losing his own life, uh, he was in favor of it. But uh, it was always a fun show to work. This is very good. Rice, chicken, vegetables spices the um, 800 plus it might have been over 900 I know it's at least over 800 different productions in which I worked in front of the camera This is good. I'm a fan of broccoli as well as being a fan of cabbage. Let's look at another page here. I will just open it at random. Okay, let's see what this is. This is Dynasty. I was, uh, I was something. I was, I was a doctor in a business suit. Second Chance. That was with uh, John Travolta. I think. There were two different movies called Second Chance. One was with John Travolta and Olivia Newton John. I worked at uh, TBS and the Burbank Studios. And uh, the other Second Chance was with who, um, I think it was with George Burns and Robbie Benson, I believe. What is this, uh, Emerald Point, that was a show I worked uh, several times, it was a series about a naval air station and it was a pleasant show to work. Andrew Stevens was the star of that series. Good food. These meals come with their own serving dishes. I think you would like the recipe. I think it's stubborn root beer. 
S-T-U-B-B-O-R-N stubborn root beer take a sip of that very delicious more of the mega bowl I don't have a sponsor I'm not trying to get a sponsor but when I mentioned that I like the mega bowl meals and the Michelinas I do not get paid for saying that I just say that because I like them salad is all gone and Michelinas is almost all gone If you don't have a YouTube channel, I'd recommend that you get one. Whether you review food or do something else, or something you're good at, you can show people how to do something. You might enjoy making YouTube videos. Spring is next month. April is my favorite month just because the weather gets better and better. more root beer how is your lunch about one more spoonful of the Michelinas I think Michelinas has a recipe an 8 ounce recipe for um, chicken fried rice that is quite good Not sure how much the fast food meals, a hamburger, fries, and coke, I'm not sure how much that costs now. But we're definitely going through some inflation. Michelinas is gone. Another sip of root beer. another bite of the mega bowl and look back in the book and see what uh, I worked on yeah. just run this forward a bit Falcon Crest
was hostage oil rigger. I remember that. We worked out in the field with uh, some drilling equipment. It was a nice day. Reading my writing is a hard thing to do. Well, let's go down. Simon and Simon, they used to work that quite often. Here I was uh, was I? I don't think I put it down. <clears throat> Best defense. I was uh, something. Blue collar worker. And that's the show that I worked. Uh, they upgraded me to an A card. So I got the residuals when it showed on TV, Best Defense. I got lots of checks over the years on that. Gone are the days, D-A-Y-E-S. Excuse me, that's the uh, first show on which I stood in for Harvey Corman. He was always nice. I have stood in for Harvey Corman. I stood in for... Um, John Voigt, not John Voigt, John uh, Lithgow. Stood in for Pat McCormick on Under the Rainbow. I got credit at the end of the movie, Under the Rainbow, for being a stand-in, <clears throat> they misspelled my name. There was another show I worked on where they misspelled my name. But that's all right. Good food. It's all gone. <clears throat> Except this right here. Mm. And now it's time for the secret dessert. And the secret dessert is a cherry pie. This came from um, Walmart. Open up pie this way. This, this has been 84 cents for a long time so I have a feeling it's going to be uh, increased in price. Maybe the next time I work it <clears throat> instead of being an 84 cent secret dessert it might be over a dollar. Well, let's see if we can get this open here. Glad you could come over today. You can uh, borrow the lawnmower. Just be sure to cut my lawn. Working as an extra <clears throat> was a great deal of fun and it's not for everyone. Some people would get very bored with the hours and hours that you stand still waiting to do a scene. You do meet some nice people. Stood in for Mel Ferrar. <clears throat> Mel Ferrar was um, an actor who was directing an episode of Falcon Crest. He also was working in the episode. Mm. 
good and more root beer. Thank you for coming by and enjoyed our conversation and thank you for watching.